next I think we talk about something that I mentioned briefly the other day. But um this six nine thing is weird, isn't it? Or it's just me. Don't get me wrong, the guy's a Muppet, right? Um just as a as a human or as a man, right? This this kind of idea that he's this narrative that he paints about, you know, oh um my former um gang member friends were extorting me, kidnapping me, they'd threatened to, you know, kill my mother, they um supposedly slept with my child's mother, all this sort of stuff. And that's why I decided to snitch on them. That narrative is running, you know, it completely, you just throw out the window because there's plenty of other people that he kind of um, essentially snitched on who had nothing to do with the kidnapping, nothing to do with the alleged um, sexual misadventure of his baby mother. And he just completely threw them all under the bus because, it, you know, from the looks of it, he just couldn't face the... F he, he couldn't face the he couldn't face having to be in prison for the amount of time that he was meant to be in right which is i think was 60 40 to 60 years or something stupid like that he just didn't want to do it which is completely understandable so he decided to flip but this idea that he's painting that he's somehow this um guy that's been wrong and he was just a little kid who kind of was steered in the wrong way is not the right narrative but that being said i find it odd how the industry has decided um on its own merit or in its own way to sort of cancel him and not give him an opportunity to make the sales i guess that he wants to make because obviously he's obsessed with numbers in the same way that Nicki minaj is because you know maybe for good reason um especially in Nicki minaj's way you kind of use the numbers in order to kind of leverage other deals you're getting but for six nine obviously to come out of prison and to do the numbers that he did previously he got a number one record with Nicki, all this sort of good stuff i guess on paper it's a it's kind of a good um it's good for him because it kind of lets him know that, hey, I'm still able to kind of succeed and thrive, even in spite of the industry kind of closing their doors on you. But it seems like that stuff has finally caught up with him. Um, supposedly, his projected sales, first week sales are like down to like 35,000 um, from like a, the highs of like 150. So that goes to show that, you know, when the industry decides they don't like you and they kind of deem you not to be somebody they want to push and promote, they can effectively cancel your career or basically um, only allow you to get so far, only allow you to get so big, only allow you to have so so many, fan, so many fans. It's a thing that they can do, which is really concerning. And it really kind of opens your eyes up to things that Wale spoke about ages ago when he was having his debates or his arguments or his record label, right? And his kind of idea that, oh, he's, you know, the impression that you kind of get from Wale is that he feels like he's he hasn't been, He's kind of been held back. He should be in the same group as the Kendricks and the Coles and the Drakes, but just through, you know, um, neglect at labels and not being the priority has essentially resulted in him having to jump around from a couple of labels here and there. So I guess um, 6 9 spoke about the fact that he's kind of feeling the pressure or feeling the fact that the industry has essentially iced him out, which is, you know, I guess for the people that don't like him, it's sort of a funny thing to see him being so vulnerable, even though he might be joking and trolling in this video. But I do get the impression that it's, it's finally got to him, especially now he's been able to move around and he's not in his home anymore. He's not in house arrest. He's definitely seen that, you know, whatever, 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 whatever clout or whatever access he left behind when he went into prison, now that he's come out, those doors have all shut. Like, I mean, no one's answering his phone calls. And essentially, he's had to kind of go around and get the attention of YouTubers all over the place. I think he's on he's on Logan Paul, actually. Uh, he should be on Logan Paul soon. So he's essentially tapped into that market because that's the only people that will actually talk to him. But here's a video of him sort of explaining um, or basically, you know, detailing some of his grievances with the industry. I won't come in a bad mood. I'm going to keep it all the way above. Supposed to be in a good mood, but I'm in a bad mood. Album just dropped yesterday. I'm looking at all these DSPs. DSPs is Apple Music, Spotify. Yo, they it's they completely shutting us out like if we didn't drop an album. This is on every phone, and I thought I'm bugging, right? This is the main page. And shout out to these artists. This don't really got nothing to do with y'all. This is this is the platform. New, this is new music. Let me see it on your phone. It's the same shit. So they act like go to new music. What is this? Spotify? Spotify this is Apple? Apple Music. This is Spotify? Yeah. This we not on there? We not nope. on any of it. So they act like we didn't drop not a no single album. thing. Zero. All I'm saying is y'all already took radio away from us. If y'all gonna cheat us, just give us a fear. I woke up in the so the, the the thing that's the, the the thing for me that's slightly annoying about this issue is that when does it end right if you're saying that you're not going to give six nine a chance because it's a snitch how far does that go do you do the same thing for 
a guy that run off with a plug? Do you do the same thing somebody that sells shitty drugs in the end? Do you do that same thing that somebody that hits women? Do you do the same thing to somebody that kills their homies, kills their best friends? Like, how far does that go? Somebody that scams an artist? Because there's loads of scammers, right? There's loads of people that have kind of lawyers that have hoodwinked artists and labels that have ripped people off. The people keep getting signed to artists that rip people off. They're still, they're still able to thrive and survive in the industry. So why is it now that they've decided that this kid is the one that they're going to annex out of the scene? Because in my opinion, personally, again, I'm not necessarily a fan of his anyway. His music is not really for me. I think the first album, was it Day 69? That was maybe his best body of work. And even that wasn't that great. Um, if anything, he suffered because he snitched on all the people that were basically providing the source for his songs or his music. We've now seen that without um, without the Treyway guys, he doesn't have the same level, the same cadence, the same melodic flow that he has in previous tracks, even some of the same oomph. It sort of gets lost because, you know, he's basically snitched on everybody that he was gangbanging with back in the days, right? Or well, well, before he went into prison. So musically he obviously isn't as good as he was prior maybe he never was good in the first place that's an argument for another day but to suggest that he's not selling well because his music isn't good is ridiculous because there's plenty of music out there on the charts that isn't objectively that great that gets a push from the label that gets you know put in rotation at radio stations that get insecure into playlist and via just pure force and will and depending on the amount of money the label's willing to spend the the album or the single whatever it may be can go you know it can go in absolute numbers so i find this really strange that they decided okay we're gonna do this to this guy and again it kind of should be a wake-up call to artists to be like hey um gatekeepers actually do exist so if you do want to thrive in industry as good as it can as as um as good as an idea as it can be to be viral and to kind of rub people up the wrong way and get everyone bad side don't do it don't take it too far because I think if 6ix9ine would have come out and been a bit a bit more, um, you know, just a bit more mellow, I guess, to have some sort of sympathy for the situation that he's in and maybe empathize a little bit with the people that he snitched upon and maybe, you know, um, put out there that he kind of is trying to change his ways or something, I don't know, something to kind of get back on the good graces of people. I think he would have gone a long way, not even with the fan base, I think more so with the industry. I think the moment he came out and essentially started to antagonize everybody, and you have to look at you have to look at all these guys like Dirk and everybody he was kind of beefing with. Don't look at them just as rappers. Look at them as like entities and brands within themselves who have got money people who they kind of um answer to or money people that basically you know um supplement their lifestyle or, or they've heavily invested in they're going to be annoyed when their product or their brand is being messed with by some kid that just come out of prison for snitching they're not going to have it so it's no surprise that a few of the doors have been closed you know um recently for him but i just think it's very odd i, I would just i would much rather six nines music career fizzle out into irrelevance solely based on the fans just saying you know what we don't think you're good and just walking away then the industry deciding that they don't want him to be played on any of their platforms it's like or to be featured or to be pushed out there that doesn't really make any sense um especially the playlist stuff like that's really bizarre like i used to, so you're telling me if i go through rap caviar playlist i'm not going to find somebody that might have snitched on somebody i'm not going to find a woman beater i'm not going to find somebody that might have fucks around with kids are you are you real come on but let me know what you think. Um, do you think it's justifiable for 6 9 to be completely blackballed from the industry? Um, do you think it's um, a necessary punishment for the crime that he did? Or do you just think this is plain old karma? Let me know in the comments down below.